Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome in the Vikings Now by Chat Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman, and welcome in to Vikings Now by Chat Sports. We're be breaking down the Vikings. Tough loss, 21-20. to uh, They lost the Denver Broncos on Sunday night football. Be diving into all the latest news and rumors around the game. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of today's video. But Vikings do end up losing. Heartbreaker, man, heartbreaker. I'm recording this video right after the game, so my emotions are a little... Uh, are a little high right now, I must say. Uh, just a tough loss for the Vikings. You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, you knew the win streak was going to come to an end eventually. Um, it's just when you have a lead like that and you blow it to the Denver Broncos, like, it's just tough, man. But here's the box score from tonight. Um, Madison had a brutal fumble. That's kind of what I want to start with here first. Um, they had a brutal fumble, or he had a brutal fumble late in the third quarter. Vikings were driving up 17-12. to and they had a chance to really put the ball game away, and he had a just an awful fumble. Like he just lost the football. Um, Madison, I really don't understand why he continues to play over Ty Chandler. It really makes absolutely zero sense to me. Like it's honestly gotten to the point where it's like, am I missing something on tape? Like, am I not watching the right game? Because I almost feel like it's one of those things at this point where it's like, it's so obvious Ty Chandler should be RB one for this football team but they still give it to Mattis. I mean, Vikings ran for almost 180 yards tonight. It's the most on their season, and you just have these terrible, terrible fumbles. And I swear to God, if you had to mark, like, what was the most common play from the Vikings season? One play. It is the Alexander Madison no-yard rush. That has probably happened. I'm not kidding. What if we played 11 games at this point? Probably three times a game, at least three times a game. That's probably happened 35 times. Is when Alexander Madison... He gets the handoff. He, you know, obviously holes aren't always open, but he tries to make a little jump cut. He tries to make a move, and he's just slow. Like, he's slow as dirt. Um, he just has no more juice, and I just will – really, I just can't wrap my mind around why Ty Chandler is not the RB1 in Minnesota. I think you got to start him, and I think you got to start him immediately. Like, next week versus the Bears on Monday night, it's got to be the Ty Chandler show, and I just – Again, I just, I just don't get it. And maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I don't see the game the right way. Maybe I'm missing something that Madison does way better than Ty Chandler. But even in blitz pickup tonight, Ty Chandler is pretty solid. And, you know, Vikings coaches have talked about it where it's like that's the one spot of the game where Ty Chandler needs to improve. Tonight, he was pretty good. But I'll ask you guys, who should be RB1? 32 for Ty Chandler, 2 for Alexander Madison. 32 for Ty, 2 for Madison. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I mean, if I was watching this video, I'd be spamming Ty Chandler probably 3,000 times down in the comment section. But let me know. Should the Vikings, or who should be the RB1 for the Minnesota Vikings? Let me know down below. But overall, Vikings do end up losing. Cortland Sutton and Russell Wilson connected on a late game touchdown. Um, listen, Cortland Sutton's a hell of an NFL player. He's a hell of a wide receiver. He had a big-time one-handed catch. And just today just kind of felt like a uh, – felt like the Vikings just really lost this game. Like, I didn't really feel like the Broncos went out and won it. Like, they, yes, they made a couple big-time plays, but I just felt like over and over again, Vikings were loading the pistol, shooting themselves in the foot just consistently over uh, throughout this game. Um, and, yeah, I mean, on that last drive, like, you have fourth down. Broncos, it was on third and ten. Broncos hand the ball off, and I'm like, oh, shit, what, are the, what is Denver doing? What is Sean Payton doing? Brings up a fourth and three. Still in Vikings territory. Vikings only bring three. Pressure kind of, you know, gets to Russell Wilson. He escapes left. Throws a little, like, kind of floater right over the head of Ivan Pace. And Cortland Sutton, uh, he just uh, one-hand catches it. And it was a hell of a play. Um, and I get, like, players are going to make plays. But this just felt like one of those games where, like, the Vikings lost it. And it wasn't really about Denver going and winning it. It just felt like the Vikings lost it. I don't know. I also felt like you should have got Hawk more involved. We'll kind of get into the offense here in a second. But overall, the defense, I mean, the offense didn't give you any breaks. Like, they gave you a short field twice, and the defense held them a three both times. But when you really needed it, when you really needed a stop, Denver was able to drive down and get a touchdown. So it kind of stinks. Tough, tough loss. We'll dive into some of the offensive issues here in a second. But I do want to give a huge shout-out to today's sponsor, of today's post game show, and that is Prize Picks. If you guys head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code 
CLNS. You're going to get a first deposit match up to $100. You guys may be asking, how do you play? Well, you pick two or more players, choose more or less on their projected stat types. You guys can start seeing the cash roll in today. I love using prize picks. It makes the boring games even entertaining. Like, anytime you have a little extra juice on the game, obviously it's going to make it very entertaining. But if you guys want to get hooked up uh, with the fun, make sure you guys do it at prizepicks.com. So I see LNS. The link for that will be in the comment section and description of today's show. Kind of close it out here. Uh, just talking about the game. I do want to focus in on a couple guys. Um, listen, TJ Hawkinson, he played good tonight. He had a couple of drops on the last drive, but honestly, it was mainly because Josh Dobbs just kind of threw it behind him a couple times. And the thing is with Dobbs, I love him. He's electric. He's a team guy. He's embraced Minnesota. I think the guys in the locker room really rallied behind him. But on that last drive, when it was just like simply just drop it back, third and eight, deliver a strike. TJ Hawkins running an out route. Kirk Cousins hits that every time. Said Josh Dobbs, threw it right here. TJ's got to go back on it. PBU. Happened twice. Literally, it was like carbon copy of each play on two first downs. Kirk Cousins makes that throw. Um... Thought Jordan Addison could have got more involved. I love what I've seen from Brandon Powell um, here. But, like, my main issue with the Vikings offense is just why the hell is Alexander Madison playing? Like, they even try to get him involved in the screen game. And I, I, I just really can't understand it. If I was Kevin O'Connell, I would go, Ty Chandler, you're my RB1 for the rest of the season. No doubt. Ty Chandler, you're getting most of the carries. And maybe you mix in Alexander Madison. A little light or a little lightning to thunder. Like, Kind of balance them out, but I mean, Madison getting 18 carries tonight, and obviously he had a couple touches in the past game. Like, I just hate Madison getting 20 plus carries in a game just because I feel like there's so many other running backs in the league that if they got 18 carries, like, they would be way better than what Madison did. And that's just a frustrating thing because, like, I really do, I really do think this Vikings team is good enough to make the playoffs and maybe win a playoff game. I understand. Maybe I may be harping on a running back a little too much, but I think, not, I think Ty Chandler gets most of the carries. Offense is just going to look better. Um, I do want to finish out today's show just talking about Kevin O'Connell. I understand there's going to be a lot of uh, talk about, you know, KOC got cute in the second half, and, you know, listen, man, I get it. He did get cute. Um, but also, like, got to think about what he's dealing with right now. He's playing with a Josh Dobbs. Playing with a just, or no Justin Jefferson. You know, yeah, he did get cute. I hated the run-run pass kind of mentality in the second half. Um, but, like, I do want to give him a break because he was pretty good in spots today. Like, the fake punt call, that was a great call. Obviously got negated or it got kind of you know, written off because of the Madison fumble, but that was a great call he made. Um, just overall, my final thoughts, brutal loss. Like, brutal, brutal loss for the Vikings. Yeah, obviously last night, but hey, man, season's getting a lot more interesting. I'll tell you that. Vikings, playoff hunt coming up soon. Oh, it's going to be tight, man. But make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel at Vikings Today on YouTube. Vikings Now by Chat Sports. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Show some love to it. Um, I really appreciate everybody hanging out with us on our watch party. See you guys next time. As always, Skull Vikes, baby.